Hey guys, Nurse Mike here and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Before we get today's lecture started, please remember to access your free quiz and preview our cool nifty new study guides not here on YouTube. Click the link right up here at any time during this video. All right guys, let's begin. Don is a 55 year old truck driver who presents to urgent care with a throbbing headache, eight out of 10 pain, and intermittent episodes of blurred vision that seems to be getting worse for nearly a week now. Upon assessment, the nurse finds he smokes one pack per day and frequently eats fast food on his daily routes. His history includes type two diabetes times 20 years, stage two hypertension, hyperlipidemia, and a recent diagnosis of COPD. Oh snap. What is Don's main priority right now? And what must you, the nurse, prioritize in his plan of care? Today we're wrapping up hypertension, which is high blood pressure. So just think high tension on the arteries and vital organs. Now, normal BP is 120 over 80. Systolic is on top and diastolic is on the bottom. So our memory trick is San Diego. Systolic is the squeeze and expansion of blood vessels under pressure. And diastolic is that decompressing, that relaxation of the vessels. Now in hypertension, we have high tension on the heart and blood vessels. So remember by saying anything over 140, the heart says, oh lordy. Now as far as your numbers, the elevated BP starts at 120 to 129 over 80. Stage one hypertension is 130 to 139. And diastolic is 80 to 89. Now we start taking major note when it gets to stage two, this 140 over 90. Remember 140, the heart says, oh, lowity. Now hypertension crisis is anything over 180 systolic and 120 diastolic or more. Now this is super dangerous because it can cause brain damage and even a heart attack. Now as far as the signs and symptoms of hypertension, hypertension usually doesn't cause any signs or symptoms. Since it creeps up over time, we call this the silent killer. Now, if there are signs and symptoms, our three most common signs and symptoms on select all that apply questions and even on the NCLEX and nursing exams, use the acronym ABC. A stands for achy head or headache, and this can lead to a CVA stroke. B stands for blurred vision, also called retinopathy. And C stands for chest pain, which can indicate a heart attack. Now, again, severe hypertension is called our hypertension crisis. It starts with anything over 180 systolic and 120 diastolic. Now it's an emergency crisis since it can kill the patient and destroy the four main vital organs, the brain, the heart, the lungs, and the renals, basically your kidneys. So we give IV drugs immediately. So remember B, C, D, and E. B for beta blockers that puts the brakes on the heart, slowing it down. Our C is for calcium channel blockers. Remember calcium calms the heart and controls the blood pressure. D for dilators like vasodilators. So remember D for decreases the blood pressure because remember nitro acts like a pillow for the heart. Rest and relaxation. And lastly, E is for ER to ICU since it's a crisis situation. Now, thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right guys, see you next time.